As a follow-up to the last video, I've uh, figured out how to wire everything up. So as you recall, there was a blue wire, a red wire, and in the middle a battery wire. Here they are right here. Battery wire, blue wire, red wire. The red wire was labeled for the ignition side spark plugs on the Z22 engine. So I'm only using the red, I'm not using the blue. And the battery wire I've got right here. So the battery wire I've got wired together with the wire going to the positive side of the coil. And the red wire I have wired with the wire going to the negative side of the coil. The battery wire and the positive side of the coil wire I'm going to hook together with my jumper battery to 12 volt positive. Set that down there. My negative is just grounded to the uh, vise. So I've got my cap, all my wires hooked up. We'll stick that on. Hook up the coil wire right here. And I've got the wires going to some spark plugs right here. I'm just going to set a metal, set a metal plate on top of them. And a hammer kind of to lay them down so they'll ground out to the metal bench top. I'm going to turn my battery on. And I'm going to spin the distributor. And I'll turn the lights off so you can see it better. The coil is uh, old and cracked, so it's arcing out to a couple of the posts here, so you'll see that as well. Okay, most of the lights are off. Probably see that better. All the spark plugs are firing. Kind of doesn't seem to matter which way I turn it. You can see the uh, coils arcing out there a little bit. So it looks like this is going to work just fine. Got to get a new coil. The only thing I'm not sure of is whether this is an internally resisted coil or not. Um, it has some writing on it, but it's so worn out and stuff I can't read what it says other than 12 volt. Um, if you guys have any idea what a uh, 720 with a Z22 truck takes for coils, whether they're uh, internally ballast or not, uh, I'd appreciate a comment down below. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.